It's your boy T-Burn. The reaction today is trying to laugh Tuesday. So one of y'all wanted me to keep do another Ace Vane video at the at the y'all react to my um show my reaction to the uh the Charlie Black Christmas. So y'all want me to check out this one called Charlie Black's the late as lick AF, formerly known as June T Special. And because because at the last video, I got Drew to try and laugh with this one because I know it's going to be hilarious. So without further ado, let's get it. Morning, class. I'm here to talk to you about Juneteenth. Any of you know what, what Juneteenth is? Can anybody tell me? Anybody at all? <clears throat> anybody that. besides my honky-ass son? How about you right next to him? You look smart. You look like a black Thelma. Well, as of 2021, it will be the latest way for white guilt to be coddled. I don't understand the damn thing you just said. How about you in the front with the Donald Glover hair? Who, me? Yeah, you, boy. You look like a young buck that knows his place in history. I don't know. Martin Luther King birthday? What the goddamn? This, you don't know what day this represents? You, this is the day your people were freed by great white men. Oh, no. Do you know what your boy. ancestors would call you right now if they knew you didn't know your history? Fuck what I know Let that. Let me write it out for you. See? You would be this. Oh, hell no. I know this motherfucker. Hey, Franklin, you better get your Before you get all upset, I want you to know I'm speaking on behalf of your ancestors when I write that. So it's not racist. I'm about to race up there and put my foot up your motherfucking head. it's not that serious. It's, it's just coon. It's just, it's, it's a lot of things named coon, okay? Look, two examples. You got ra, coon, and cuh-coon. That's not how you spell that. everything I love them having my uncle spin your block and shoot your whole shit up tonight. Hold on, what, what's a cuckoo? He's referring to the casing the larva puts itself in to go through metamorphosis. Oh, Morpheus from the Matrix. Right, I know you ain't just called Lawrence Fisher burn a coon. No, I did not. Now, I know what a cocoon is. That's when a man have another man come smash his wife in front of him, and then the man be in the corner crying, but he kind of like it at the same time, and be using his tears as lubricant. No, that, that is don't... called a cuckoo. What the fuck does cuckoo? Hey, get your bitch ass out of here, Franklin. No, head. fuck you, little ungrateful asshole. Ooh. I'm to do something fucking nice for you people. On you, you, you know what? I got something hey, for all Franklin, of you. Franklin, daddy. You better not come back around this bitch unless you're strapped. What the fuck you think he gonna do? Put his own bitch ass on. Attention, students. Due to a recent complaint from a white person, the back to school cookout is now canceled. What? Yeah, that's right. Oh. It's canceled. Oh. Because one of y'all done pissed off a white guy. Shut, 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 Say that shit, uh, and I intend to say most shit. Cause guess what? Fuck them kids. Oh God, bro. Oh, oh, you already asked Miss Schultz this. Then you should already know what it is. Fuck, fuck them kids. kids. Oh, God. You know, I don't like that term, no, but oh, God. this a clip on top. Oh, what? Remember that kid Eric like, from Special Ed yeah. who said we should change his name to FTF? Oh yeah, forgot to flush. Oh, <laughs> shit. Fuck y'all, fuck Eric. Eric passed away last week. I know there's a lot of questions. Like, Lord, why Eric? And why not that boy who smells like marinated urinal cakes? The Eric is what we refer to as special. Some people might even use the word slow. But I don't like to use that word slow because there is no barometer to measure the speed of one's intellectual intelligence in God's kingdom. Eric was on God's time. But now he on that short bus on the way to heaven to take them special classes with Jesus. Nigga, you out here crying? I'm sorry, I, I thought I, I thought I was by myself. How the fuck? You in a public park. I guess I'm just used to feeling alone. That I, I didn't I notice. Know, I only came over here because that's kind of my spot. Where I know I, I my kinda... don't fit in and, and, and things like that. I, but I just wanted to be part of the game, you know? And then my dad comes and gets the cookout canceled and now I'm canceled, you know? Having one friend, one, one freaking friend would really save my mental state and helped me a lot. But it just, hello, bro, I'm, I'm gonna just come out later. Don't don't get no tears all over the wall and shit, cause that's why I like to put my arms up there. Damn, he crying like he on his third step daddy for the month. Nah, he crying like his daddy came back in his life and then left again. Oh yeah, that's that hurt. That's like when your dad said he gonna pick you up on Saturday and he'll never show up cause he was some hooker. Exactly, old bitch ass motherfucking daddy, bro. I come down on us, man. I kind of feel bad for Franklin. I think he got a bad rap. 
You know, I think the way to help Franklin was to be his friend and help him break the cycle so he doesn't grow up to be an asshole like his dad. Bro, she's just saying that shit because she mixed. No, seriously, someone who would stand by his side in this time of need is someone I would truly admire. Is she supposed to be the, the uh, the, the little, the red-headed girl that Charlie Bust they have a crush on? Y'all smell Pete? <laughs> Hey, uh, Franklin, I was thinking, uh, if, you know, if you needed some, some help, I could try to put in a good word for you to get things back to normal. You would do, you would do that for me? Um, yeah, yes, yes, I, I would, I would, I would help you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. One of the most popular kids in school is, is going to help me? This, oh joy. Ho hold on, I'm, I'm popular? Dude, yes, everybody in school knows you. They, they, they say you smell like R. Kelly's bedroom carpet. R. Kelly bedroom carpet smells like pee. So that's what I meant. He smelled like pee, the little boy. Ooh. And like I said, fuck them kids. Ooh. But not, not the way R. Kelly meant it. Oh, because that's broke. That motherfucker's just gross, and he going to hell. Me? I just hate children. I love I, I need to talk to you. Uh, I'm working right now. Get your ass away from here before they start thinking I'm selling piss for lemonade. Bitch, your broke penny from good times. Look, oh, look I just want you to uncounsel Franklin. No, no. Damn, why you gotta be a difficult bitch about everything? First of all, uncancelled ain't even a fucking word. It's not a word. Then how the fuck Second I of all, it? you're a goddamn sellout. What the fuck you helping little white boy over here who fucked up our whole back school? It wasn't him, it was dumbass daddy. Who his dumbass son invited? Goddamn, you be tripping too hard, bro. You need to take that little ass ponytail out your fucking head and just got your ass stressed Nigga, out. Nigga, you are built like a retired detective. And you are dressed like a stunt double in the color purple. was to raise money so we can get new computers for our school, stupid. Oh, say like laptops and shit? Yes. So we got computers, we ain't gotta read no more. That's so not how I get the cookout works. uncanceled. It's not a fucking Bitch, you know what the fuck I mean? Get the cookout back reinstated, then I'll reinstate Frank. Cool. Also, it's hot as fuck. Let me get a, a cup of lemonade real quick. All right, it's, it's $40. $40? The sign says $25. That's what it says. $25. Don't dollars. explain why you told me $40. The, the lemonade cup of ounce of cocaine. Look, my saying? price is my motherfucking price. Oh, hell no. I know you ain't bring this lame-ass nigga over here. I'm about to bite the shit out of both of y'all. We just need your help. We know you connected in the city, and you could help us. I understand it. all that. But see, the, the thing is, is I don't yeah, like come him. Come on, don't do me like that. I, I'll never ask you for nothing. Don't bite the hand that feeds you, bro. You ain't fed me in two months. I've been out here getting it out the mud. I'm really about... Hold on for a second. Bro, where the fuck is my money? I already told you I'll have it when I have it. You better have that shit right now. Or what? Or your crew about to have a missing person mystery on their motherfucking hands. Did someone mention hands? Because we could get the throne, though. Bro, on oh God, you better ask your uncle about me, bro. I have to ask my scary-ass uncle shit. I handle my own on me. Oh, is that right? Okay, tell me how you gonna handle this. Oh, okay, okay. Nah, go ahead and squeeze that shit, man. Am I supposed to be scared now because you got a pistol? I just spent five days in the kennel. I told you I'll pay your monkey ass when I feel like it. You better suck my dick. Oh! Lord. He chop his. So what we need for a cookout? A DJ and and, and what? Some some tents and some food or some shit. All right, what's up? You you the DJ? No. Nah, Chop the man, pistol him, chop his body up, and then burn it. Burn the evidence. I'm done. <laughs> oh, this shit's too funny. I'm gonna lose. I think I'm. Uh, I got a bad feeling losing to Jordan. I'm just a nigga at the club that play music. So you're a DJ, because that, that's what a DJ hey, do. Hey, nigga, you don't fucking know me. Don't try to limit my abilities by putting me in a fucking box. I do a whole plethora of shit. I get tambourine lessons, I coach volleyball, I sell weed, I paint stripes on straws, and I wrote the first script draft to the motherfucking movie you want a man, motherfucker. Don't put me in a goddamn box. I analyze the fuck out of your finances. I get your ass set up with several bank accounts, have you living off the interest, and change your whole goddamn life. Does that mean I'm a fucking accountant, bitch? I mean, I don't put me in a goddamn box. Look, my bad, sir. Nigga, don't call me, sir. My name, DJ. Bro, we just want you to come to the cookout and play fucking music. It's gonna be some hoes there. Huh? I mean, yeah, I guess. Okay, cool. I charge forty dollars for them services. Forty dollars, nigga. I got that kind of money. That's like eight five dollar bills. Nigga, my price is my motherfucking price. Look, bro, your black owned business the celebration is for black people. Can you find it in the kindness of your heart just to do it one time for your act for your people? Nigga, no. Well, fuck you, then. Nigga, fuck hey, you. Hey, Charles, don't worry. He just needs to be inspired for the turn up. I call on all of the powers of all of your ancestors. Hit it. Yeah.
I'm gonna need forty dollars on the front and the back end. And this is why nobody likes you. Let me call my shit. I got a lot of money and I got a long day. You say you got a plan, but you can't. I honestly can't believe y'all pulled this off. Honestly can't believe that's your only hairstyle. Thanks for trying canceling me, Lakeisha. It's not a word. And, and also remember you're on thin fucking ice. Hey, y'all ain't y'all ain't got no snacks around this bitch. That's a good question. Did, did y'all get anybody to cater? Yeah, that's a great question, cause nigga hungry and five lizzos out of salad bar and fat bitches in the uh, fuck, fuck the metaphor. I don't I don't know, I'm hungry, bro. Oh, Franklin said he had that covered. I sure do. One second. Oh, I, I can't even cap. I, I'm impressed. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. I'm hungry and Hold two, on. Two wildebeest and six queen latifas sitting sideways on a man. Fuck the metaphor. I don't know. I'm the hungry fuck. Don't worry, guys. Chow time. What the fuck? I've lost your little ritzy ass. No. My dad owns a uh, produce and catering service, so it, this is perfect. I cannot help you anymore. What? What? What I do? What is going no. on, Blair? You told me this was a picnic. This looks like a cookout. Franklin, I'm trying my best here, okay? This was a mistake. I, I don't understand. Dear God, this place is full of non-white people. Is that a sea of blackness oh, over God. there? Oh, that cannot be so. Nobody here's gonna buy this because it's racially insensitive. Um, ho, speak for yourself. A bitch is hungry. Right, give me two of them motherfuckers right now. Oh, yeah, what the fuck you doing? Let's see, we are out. We are out. Oh, hell. What the fuck is that, bro? Boy, ain't no way, boy. No! Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. No! Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Oh, hell no. As I look around. And I see that I'm the only white man here. I have to take responsibility to make sure you all are safe because I, I do believe there's way too many of you here at once. And, and I believe that is a violation in itself. You know, it, it kind of look, it looks kind of sketchy. So I would ask, I would like some of you to leave or, or spread out a little bit. It's, it's just way too too many at, at once playing man. loud music and partly, this man. I mean, it's it's like the think about the neighbors in, around this it's area. Like well, I'm here and, and, and the music's too loud for me. And you know, once, once again, uh -oh. okay, who threw a shoe? Who threw a shoe? Is it you? Right there in the blue? Who threw the oh, shoe? This isn't blue, this is turquoise. Look like it was from my point of view. I need you all to understand something. I'm on your side. I'm a woke white man. Do you understand how powerful that is? Stop talking over me. I'm still a white man. You will not talk over me as a white man. All right, you guys didn't way too loud and rowdy. There's only one way to handle this. You got that right. And that is to reach out to the authorities, which you people like to call 12. So just give me a moment while I dial them up and yeah! I'm not getting okay. to see you. Get some oh, why do you guys look so upset? Why do you look? What? Why? What? What? Yo, he fucked him up. Stop! Oh! Oh! <coughs> I was gonna lose or pass out or both. Oh my god. We, he came with the, the truck full of watermelons, almost lost it. We came with the truck full of watermelons. No, 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 no. What had me lose the most? Morning, class. What had me lose the most? Oh no. The, oh shit. The, no, what did, what, the, the pastor said, "Say you know, short butt, short butt ride to because because the, the, the kid was uh, kind of a uh, special a short butt ride to heaven, something like that. Almost lost that one. The no, the the the, the, the don't call him the smell like piss. No, the R Kelly, the oh, say smell like R Kelly furniture. Oh, I was I was lost it. I was lost that and the, and the dad and Franklin dad come in with the, the truck full of watermelons. I was lost it. It was a whole." Ooh, almost lost. Almost lost it plenty of time. That's the main, but they did the main ones. Almost lost it one. Oh shit! This was funny. This was hilarious. I might have to do another. I got might have to do another Charlie, a Charlie Black uh, video from Ace Vane, man. Oh my god! And uh, J Rock, my boy. If you have not watched this one, yet, definitely watch this one. Do a try. I challenge you to try and laugh through this one, because oh my god! If you know, I, I, it's all good. But still. Whew.
to have was funny. Other than that, if you like Mario, you should like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T-Bear signing off on love.